but you answer that call of duty. Phil Martin knows that. Brian Harris knows that. Ooh. Round of applause for a man who ran a fantastic oh, campaign. Yeah. Thank you. Rick Perry knows about it. Dan Grinshaw knows about it. Woo! Mr. Rosen knows about it. Our county commissioners know about it. Tal Butler knows about it. Randy Stinson knows about it. Trevor. You just answer that call. Yeah, sure. And if you feel that's what the calling is, you just you yeah, just sure. do whatever he says and you roll with it. Doesn't guarantee victory. Oh, you that you're going to make the effort to give back. And that's what this should all be about. Real quick, I want to thank the people who are here, and I'm going to miss some people. And for that, I'm sorry. See, I talked about my family, <laughs> Rick Perry, Dan Crenshaw, Mike Garcia, Tony Gonzalez, Jan Brand, Paul Green Letters, Alicia Wilkerson, Kevin Flynn, Martha Dent, Mark Belanowitz, my good friend John Belanowitz and his beautiful family. John Ray, my good friend and predecessor of the Texas House, and your beautiful family. <laughs> Congressman Joe Martin. Sydney <laughs> Andrew Marsh, thank you. Ingrid and Jay Cooley. Tommy Burley, of course, who just keeps on ticking. Mary Williamson, Sally Simpson, who worked with <laughs> Mary Kelly, Dr. John Sullivan, my team, Craig Murphy, Matt Brownfield. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Trevor Toby, my new favorite intern. <laughs> Andy and Jeannie Carr, for your hospitality, and of course, Sherry Hines. Carol Bowles, Carol Bowles, Carol Bowles. Director Julie Luce. Woo. My sister in law Whitney for decorating all of this stuff tonight. Woo. I know I'm going to forget some folks tonight. You'll have to forgive me. This is about a way forward for the United States of America. It's about living according to the Constitution, preserving the freedoms that we have all. In many cases, fought for. Some of my friends have died for. That we all care about. And I'm not going to go on for a long time. But I will say the things that I've talked about is are the security of the national of our nation is at stake. Yes. yes the future of these young children is at stake. Our children your children, your grandchildren. It's essential that we get this right. It's essential that we do it as Americans united instead of Americans divided. Republicans united instead of Republicans divided. So once we take back the House in the Senate in 22 and take back the White House in 2024, we take back our country. Woo! Amen. Support and prayers, friendship, kindness, the Ward family. Can't forget them. My mom, who's in California. My dad, who's in Puritan. My stepdad, who's up there. Papa, I wish you could have seen this. Wish you could have been here for this. But I know he's watching. To all of my family, to all of my friends. We have a mission ahead of us once again. I'm honored to be on this mission. I'm honored that you would entrust me with your vote and your desire to send me to Washington, D.C. to represent the good people of this district. 
And one of the things that we've seen from this campaign is a positive outlook, a Reagan Republican outlook for the future of our country is what the people of the 6th District really, really want. say anything bad about anybody, unless it was probably behind some closed door somewhere, but he thought our best days were ahead of us. Now, one of the things I like to talk about is when we went to the Naval Academy, and when you went from being the coolest thing on the planet, Trevor, you're going to figure this out, being the coolest thing on the planet in your own mind after you graduate from high school to being the lowest of the low, there's a flag in Memorial Hall of the United States Naval Academy that says this, don't give up the shit. The United States is a ship. Denny, he remembers that. The guy I haven't seen in 30 years showed up tonight. Woohoo! Thank you for coming back. Thank you for coming back. Denny. This ship is worth fighting for. I never use that word, but I'm going to say it today. This ship is worth fighting for. Right now, it seems like it's listening to the left, nobody's at the rudder, and it's not under any power. And we do have dark days ahead of us, but the sunshine's going to come. The sun's going to rise tomorrow. And with your help, your love, your prayers, we're going to accomplish this mission once again so that our children and grandchildren can live in a brighter America, a unified America, where we're not ripped apart by people who aim to do us harm from within. My solemn vow to you is to come home, gavel out, come home, love on my family, be accountable to you, to be answerable to you, to listen to you, to support you. The only thing I ask in return for you, return for me, is that you love all me and my family every day of this journey, every day of this mission. Mission. So God bless all of you. Thank you for coming tonight. It's a real honor to be standing up here today. Woo! Woo!